Hello everyone. Uh, today we are going to discuss about one of the very important issue that thing is discussing around the world. Okay. Or everywhere in the world, which is IoT. Okay. Internet of Things. You can understand by the name. Internet of Things. Things that will be connected through the internet. Okay. So, day by day, the technology is becoming very cheap. Okay, technology is becoming improved. Okay, so we are getting improved technology in very, very, or cutting edge technology in very, very low price. So that's why everything will be connected to the internet so that we can create information from the data. You know the difference between data and information. So when you process the data, it will become information. That means, so, so everything of me, like my, my, my shirt, my pant, my shoes, my socks, my uh, watch, okay, my even the uh, laser pointer, okay, my pen, of course the computer and mobile phone is with the internet connectivity, but these devices, my uh, wallet, okay, my e-money, everything will be connected to the internet, my electricity bill, okay, my power consumption of my this uh, fan, Okay, power consumption of that computer. Okay, the amount of light in this room. Everything, everything will be connected with that. Everything will be under internet connectivity. That's why we are saying internet of things. Okay, so that is one of the most important issues. So one thing, very nice thing is written by Kafia Nantara. This uh, presentation is mainly prepared by Kafia Nantara. So I am giving the credit to Kafia Nantara for preparing this uh, presentation. Okay. So, IoT system design means the phenomena which connects a variety of things. That is the concept of IoT. Before talking about IoT, we need to know these three things. One is internet. We know what is internet. Every, every, every device, every computing device actually is connected somehow with some other device by using internet. Okay. Before some time, the biggest network was telephone network. But nowadays, internet network become the biggest network in the world. Okay, and we are putting every data to the internet. Okay, second thing is cloud computing. Now, cloud computing have actually few issues. This is not actually very new thing. Okay, this is not a different thing. What is cloud computing? Cloud computing is it's giving us the service from remote. Like, I, I cannot afford a big software, but I can rent the software. Like, I cannot buy, suppose, if I have to buy the Microsoft Office, I cannot buy by the whole money. What I can say or how, what I can do, I can request to the service like, I will use your Microsoft Word or Microsoft Excel or the PowerPoint and will pay per use. Like our cell phone, our mobile phone, like Ramin phone, okay, prepaid or how to say, yeah, prepaid, but the issue is I am paying as much I am using. Okay, so Internet of Things will become like that, like pay per use. It can be hardware, it can be software, like nowadays a number of software like video games or some, how to say, image processing or video processing software, it requires huge amount of processing. Okay, so, but my PC is not compatible with that kind of processing things. So what I can do, I can rent the processor or processing you need from some cloud server. Okay, so I can also rent the hardware. So sometimes it says software as a service, hardware as a service. So we can rent the service from the cloud. That is the concept of cloud computing. So for Internet of Things, this is very, very important because actually IoT device are very small device. It will just will contain some sensors. It will just receive the sensing data and then it will send to a server. Okay. So if I will buy a special server for that service, it will not be cost effective. Okay. So what we can do, we can rent the space. Okay. And we can send all the data to the space or to the uh, database. 
okay and then we can process that one so that's why the cloud computing becomes so important for iot discussion okay and the last thing is internet of things okay so embedded systems or robotic system or digital system or any kind of systems which will have some sensors by sensing the environment or sensing the required things it will send to the server okay and we can process it like like something i have uh, put in my refrigerator and i am not eating that that things for a long time so suppose if it's a vegetable maybe after 3 days it will giving me notifying like you have a vegetable in your refrigerator and you're not eating or uh, it might can happen when i just came back to my home my air conditioner will turn on automatically before i reaching to the home so my one of my device like my cell phone you know geofencing so if my cell phone is connected to the geofencing feature so when the uh, air conditioner will able to know mr kolil is, is around the home he will he will be in home within 5 minutes so it will start the air condition air conditioner and i will get the nice environment okay so people will will ask for the comfort for okay so that's why iot will become so popular and you know everything so handling all this data another very important thing is required that is ai artificial intelligence okay or you can say automation okay so in some case it's a sometimes there is a controversy like which one is ai which one is automation so there are some debates about it but yeah you can think like yes ai or automation is required okay so like as i told you when i am coming to the home i am coming but am i coming to the home that is another important issue okay if my ai system doesn't understand am i coming to the home or am i coming to the market i will go to the bazaar it have to understand it okay if it can understand it then i can say it's ai but if it just use the uh, logic like if i am near 100 meter of my home then it will turn on the ac then it's just rule based algorithm okay so ai is required also so when i am we are saying about iot all the latest technology is coming and then as i said a number of devices will be used so maybe in in uh, in my body i will have 10 iot devices in my home i might have one hundreds of iot devices so many device means many connectivity many connectivity means many device sensing means huge amount of data huge amount of data means the how to say data traffic so okay, we have to handle the data traffic another issue is security okay if someone want to hack me might be possible okay if someone want to watch me it also might be possible okay so that are the things we need to uh, uh, develop with iot system okay these are the challenges and these are the advantages of iot system so we are going to discuss about advantages and challenges in next slides maybe so this is the, you can see the concept okay everything is connected with each other like if i become sick i am going to the hospital and when i am going to the hospital my my iot systems will let them know i am arriving over there okay and maybe some other devices they will let them know what kind of problem i am facing and what kind of doctor i i need or do i need any bed or do i need to stay in the hospital they will even book the bed or book the book the room okay so these things is going to happen in future okay or when i am going to the office i just came out from my house it's 9 o'clock so i am going to the office so when i am going to the office maybe my parking space will be back end for my car in the same way when i will come back from the office or my my the, the car parking of my house might be given uh, a rent to the other people they can use my parking in my home okay and in the same way when i'll come back from my office to the home then maybe the people around that area they can use my parking of the office okay everything machine will connect with the machine machine will con will communicate with the machine so you will say machine to machine communication so you can see here some examples uh, like how everything is connected with each other okay 
So here is a simple definition. The Internet of Things, also called Internet of Object, refers to a wireless network between object. Usually the network will be wireless and self-configuring such as household appliances. So one important thing, self-configuring. Okay, like you don't need to configure everything or you don't need to push any button. Okay, you will configure once, then it will become self-configurable. Like if you put some, how to say, uh, fire sensor in your kitchen, when if any accident will occur, it will automatically call uh, fire service on 999, something like this. Okay, so it, it, that's why it's saying self-configuring. Okay. Then it's saying the term Internet of Thing has come to describe a number of technologies and research disciplines that enable the internet to reach out into the real world of physical objects, as I told you. Okay, so a, a number of technologies are involved. Technologies will be involved with the IoT. Like when I will make a number of devices, I should have different type of connectivity because uh, not only data traffic, but also connectivity is another important issue. When I will carry some IoT device in my pocket, then when I will move from one place to another place, it have to change. The, it will change the connectivity. Like maybe I was in one tower. After that, I will go to another tower. So the connectivity will be special, or will be uh, a, a challenge, or will be changed. Okay, for IoT device only. So a number of backend technology need to be developed. Like in that circumstances, we need to process the big data. Okay, in that circumstances, we need machine learning. Okay, to uh, make the decision intelligently. Okay, we need huge amount of AI. Everywhere we need the AI. Okay, so that 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 is the case. Okay, we need to handle the connectivity. We need to how to say. Uh, we need to understand which device is sending what to the other database, and of course the security. Okay, so that that is the thing mentioned here, and then things having identities and virtual personalities operating in a smart space using intelligent interface to connect and communicate with social, environmental, and user context. Okay, so you can understand. So, as I uh, as you can understand, when Facebook arrived. A number of things has changed. Our mindset has changed. Okay, previous uh, before some years, we are we are thinking my pictures are my very personal issue. Okay, now I'm open to put my picture on Facebook so that people can see. Okay, but believe me, before ten years or twenty years back, no one was showing their picture to the other people. Okay, they are keeping their pictures inside in an album. And when the guest came, they even are not showing the album to the every guest. Only the very close guests are allowed to see the album. But nowadays our concept has changed. Okay, when Facebook arrived, now we are putting every of my, our pictures inside the Facebook. Okay, so mindset is changed. Okay, once upon a time, we are thinking like, ah, what I am writing, what kind of whatever I am doing the research is my very personal item or, or my very personal issue. I should not disclose it to anyone else. But nowadays you see, we are putting everything in Google Drive. But just few years back, just few years back, we were thinking, no, we should keep our data inside my computer. But now, because these things make our life comfortable, I can access that data from my cell phone, from my computer, from any computer in the world, even if I am if I am in a airport, I can use their computer to access my file when I might go for conference. You see, so that's why the mindset is changed. Okay, so when IoT will will will, will arrive, uh, different type of social issue, the communication issue, environmental issue, this kind of context will arrive, and we have to face that thing. Okay.